We've all seen the records, a park is claiming that roller coaster be the tallest, fastest, longest, steepest, ride with the most inversions, tallest inversions, the list goes on and on. Well, I thought it would be fun to discuss some of the worst created records claimed in the theme park industry. For the most part, these records are legit, but can be deceiving for the average going guest. Now, before I get to this list, let me clarify that just because a ride is boasting a lame record doesn't mean that the coaster is bad. Far from it, in fact. Most of these roller coasters mentioned today are some of the best, or anticipated to be some of the best roller coasters on our planet. Okay, let's get to our first bad record breaking stat. Fury 325 claiming to be the tallest and fastest Giga Coaster. Fury 325 stands 325 feet, has a first drop of 320 feet, reaches 95 miles per hour with a total of 6,602 feet of track. I know a lot of theme parks love to claim these types of records, calling their roller coaster the tallest, fastest, or longest type of coaster. We've seen this with Valraven at Cedar Point, Banshee at Kings Island, Dominator at Kings Dominion, and so on. Well, the difference here is Fury 325 being a Giga Coaster isn't a type, but a classification. A Giga Coaster is any roller coaster between 300 feet and 400 feet. Fury 325 is claiming to be the tallest roller coaster that's between these height marks, which is pretty weird. You wouldn't claim a car that maxes out at 75 miles per hour as the fastest car in the world that has a max speed between 70 and 80 miles per hour, because no one would care. Now, the real claim here, which has more merit and is an achievement in my opinion, Fury 325 is the tallest roller coaster with a traditional lift, but claiming that record would sound lame, which I understand why they ultimately went with the tallest Giga Coaster claim. Jersey Devil Coaster claiming to be the tallest, fastest, and longest single rail coaster. So technically, this claim is 100% legit. Jersey Devil is the tallest, fastest, and longest single rail roller coaster. However, when you start to look at all the facts, this record loses any luster. Jersey Devil Coaster is the fourth single rail coaster, with the three originals being all clones or near clones of each other. Think of it this way, let's say YouTube was created like a week ago and the first video released to the platform was like, I don't know, six minutes long. Then like five minutes later, another video was released and it's seven minutes long. And the creator claims it as the longest video on YouTube. I mean, of course it is because it's the second and wasn't really a challenge to achieve. That's how I feel about Jersey Devil Coaster. The record it's claiming were not hard to achieve because this model is still in its infancy. To look over the stats, Jersey Devil Coaster is 130 feet tall, beating out the former record holder by 17 feet. It maxes out at 58 miles per hour, which is faster by 6 miles per hour, and track length of 3,000 feet, which is about 1,200 feet longer than the previous models. Continuing on with the single rail coaster, we have Wonder Woman Flight of Courage, tallest and longest single rail coaster opening at Six Flags Magic Mountain this year. Pretty much continuing off the same points I made with Jersey Devil Coaster, but just to ridiculous levels. Wonder Woman Flight of Courage is 131 feet tall, meaning it is one foot taller than Jersey Devil Coaster. Track length has a little bit more merit at 3,300 feet, which is about 300 feet longer, but these aren't amazing achievements. This record claim is only here to make a splashy title in the news. Just wait till you hear all of the GP claiming Wonder Woman to be the tallest roller coaster in the world, a claim that got over-exaggerated with Jersey Devil Coaster. I remember the news actually posting headlines that it was the tallest, fastest, longest roller coaster. They simply omitted the single rail part. Gotta love the news with their accurate reporting. Pantheon, claiming to be the world's fastest multi-launch coaster, which will be opening here this spring of 2022 at Busch Gardens, Williamsburg. If you thought Wonder Woman had a pointless record, let's take a look at Pantheon. Busch Gardens is claiming that Pantheon is the fastest multi-launching roller coaster, meaning not the fastest launching coaster, but the one that features more than one launch. Pantheon does legitimately achieve this record with its max speed of 73 miles per hour. However, it beats out the previous holder, again, this info provided by RCDB, by 0.3 miles per hour. 
Terran at Fantasia Land has a max speed of 72.7 miles per hour with two launches. Pantheon is 73 miles per hour with four launches. The reason why I think Busch Gardens is running with this record is most people will confuse this statement and think Pantheon is the fastest launching roller coaster, which will give this ride more merit in its record breaking status. In the end, this is just deceiving marketing, which honestly Pantheon does not need because this ride looks amazing and I cannot wait to ride it here in a few weeks. Dragon Mountain at Marineland, claiming to be the largest steel roller coaster in the world. I feel like calling a roller coaster the largest in the world is an unattainable record. It's like saying your meal is fresh, it's an adjective that is somewhat vague in definition. Regardless of my opinion, Marine Land is running with this record by claiming the roller coaster covers more land than any other attraction with 30 acres to play with. So according to their website, they claim it's the largest steel coaster because Beast at Kings Island covers 36 acres and that's wooden so not breaking that one. Now, Ultimate at Lightwater Valley, a defunct steel roller coaster that allegedly uses 44 acres of land, which shatters Dragon Mountain records. To this date, I can't think of any other roller coaster that has attempted to use this largest roller coaster claim in their marketing. Iron Gwazi at Busch Gardens Tampa, North America's tallest and fastest and steepest hybrid roller coaster in the world. This is another record that squeaks by its previous holders. Iron Gwazi is 206 feet tall, tied with Zadra at Energylandia as the tallest hybrid roller coaster, beating out the previous record holder, Steel Vengeance, at Cedar Point by one foot. Its next claim, Steepest Hybrid, features a drop of 91 degrees, beating out Steel Vengeance by one degree. So yeah, it's technically bigger, steeper, blah 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 blah, but it's not impressive stats, when considering it to be record-breaking stats, that is. These quote-unquote hybrid roller coasters use steel track, which I would be inclined to call it a steel roller coaster. In the past, when a roller coaster had steel track and wooden supports, it wasn't called a hybrid, but a steel roller coaster. This classification of coaster was created so you could make up these records. And just to reiterate, me bashing the records that Iron Gwazi is claiming is not a bash against this roller coaster. I'll be writing this in a couple months and it looks amazing and this has nothing to do with that. Full Throttle at Six Flags Magic Mountain, claiming to be the world's tallest and fastest looping roller coaster. This has to be the most frustrating and confusing record claim out of the entire list. So let's dissect it. First, it's claiming to be the tallest looping roller coaster. The key word in that phrase is looping. They aren't claiming to have the tallest inversion, but the tallest roller coaster with an inversion, which either record is still not legit anyways. Gatekeeper, which is at Cedar Point, opened a month earlier with the tallest inversion, beating out full throttle by 6 feet. Gatekeeper is also taller, but so are other looping roller coasters. If we are referring to the height of the coaster, even Alpengeist, an inverted roller coaster at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, is taller at 195 feet. And it even features a 105 foot vertical loop, so even if Six Flags is getting super technical here claiming that they had the tallest roller coaster with a vertical loop, Elpengeist still has them beat. But back to the inversion claim, let's say Six Flags is claiming to have the tallest inversion. I'll give them that since when this coaster went into production, Gatekeeper would have been an unknown. So by gosh darn, Six Flags is going to keep that record, but again, this statement does not say tallest inversion. The second half of this claim is being the fastest. Well, Storm Runner at Hershey Park is 75 miles per hour and has three inversions, but once again, if Six Flags Magic Mountain is claiming to be the fastest with a vertical loop, they might have something here to work with. Steel Phantom, which was the previous version of Phantom's Revenge at Kennywood, reached a max speed of 85 miles per hour and featured a vertical loop. It's a defunct roller coaster, so in theory, from what I could find, Full Throttle is the fastest roller coaster in operation that features a vertical loop as of 2013. Dodadampa at FujiQ Highland has a vertical loop and is obviously a lot faster than Full Throttle. Well, that's going to do it for today's list of bad record-breaking stats. I know that there are plenty of other coasters not mentioned in this video that have flimsy records attached to their names. If you enjoyed this video, let me know and maybe I'll create a sequel or something. Before I end this video, I just want to remind you to go check out my Instagram and TikTok accounts. I create daily content, and over there there should be something for everyone to enjoy. 
If you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe. That way you continue to get more great content brought to you by Xcreme Thrills.